this is a, a good football team. It's got a lot of, of older players on it that are smart and tough and have tremendous pride. And they've been fighting to get to this year for the last two years. And uh, it didn't surprise me at all when I sat and talked to them after Ole Miss in the team meeting. All right, let's start over. No excuses. And they were all locked in and, and felt that way. And, and that's the way they've approached it since that time. And the staff and I want to thank them for working so hard to hold it together and keep their composure and overcome all the adversity they have because it's a great message for all of us. And in the last week of the season, we are one of the few teams that will still play for the conference championship. Our team chemistry has increased as the season went on just because, uh, you know, we had some early early troubles in the beginning part of the season and uh, we just fought back and we knew that we had to come together if we wanted this season to end out the way that we wanted to. And, uh, you know, we're in a great position right now, so everybody's kind of clicking. The offense is clicking and the defense knows what they have to do. And even the players that don't get to play a lot on special teams are stepping up. So everybody's working with each other just to try to get the main goal done. You know, this has a team full of uh, determined guys and, and seniors that we have, you know, they, they did a great job of just, just leading us that way and we want to just play for those guys and, and, and play for ourselves because we know the talent we have on this team and we know what we can do. And um, just to go out and get that Big 12 championship, that'll be something really great for us. Guys like Case McCoy, you know, Jeff Cole, Whaley, those, those type of guys that, that um, have been through the roughs around here and they know how, how it's been and they, they just kind of kept us up and kept our spirits high and told us, you know, this, this, this train is keep moving. Having one team, one goal, one beat, you know, and everybody just had to put aside their separateness, and, you know, and just set out what you wanted to do and how we was going to accomplish it. And right now we're playing for a Big 12 championship. You know, we faced a lot of adversity, you know, early on in the season. And, you know, we've had, you know, a lot of injuries, a lot of key injuries, and you know, guys have just stepped up and, you know, played their role. You know, this team has been very motivated. Uh, you know, not let uh, the season kind of go down the drain, um, you know, after a one and two start. We wanted to make sure that this season, you know, ended on a good note. Coach Brown, he, he's just really just came in and tells us just straight up, this is what you need to do, this is what has to happen, and we'll be successful. He knows what's best. He knows what's best for us and what's best for the team. And um, he has continued to push us, you know, through the season and, um, you know, allowed us to play uh, you know, each week to the best of our ability. Well, Coach Brown has been like a tremendous leader to us. Uh, he's, he's taught us a lot of lessons. His, his, some of his speeches at the practice are incredible. Just the things that he knows and the things that he's able to let us know about life. Coach Brown uh, hasn't, hasn't wavered. Uh, I, th I think that sense of resiliency that we have as a team starts with him. The only thing that really matters is what happens within the white lines for three and a half hours on game day. And I think that that attitude is something that is really just uh, soaked in within this team and something we take to heart. This tradition around here is never to like, never to just give up. And um, Coach Brown's the type of guy that always preaches that to us that he'll never give up um, on us and, and he doesn't want us to give up on him no matter what the circumstances are. The Big 12 is still in play for us. So we're really excited about that, that we can still win this Big 12 or share the Big 12 title with somebody. And, that's big for the senior class. I mean, that's what we're fighting for. There's still just a real uh, strong sense of, of fighting through whatever comes up. I know, you know, that feeling's been there in off-season workouts with just doing whatever we can do uh, to get bigger, faster, stronger uh, through all of spring ball, just sticking in, fighting the course, getting better. Uh, and, and that's, I think, paid off for us down, down the stretch. That sense of fighting back and fighting back has gotten us to where we are now with a, a, at least a chance to share the Big 12 title.